Here we go. Three, two, one, blast off. So for the stream clip, let's start from scratch and I'll do it all over again so we can all learn. And then because I'm such a perfect person, we're gonna put this on a stream clip and people will think, oh, Nelson knows what he's doing. But obviously we're gonna give full credit to Akut for teaching me. So here we go. First thing, div block to make it a wrapper. Okay, we're gonna call this slider wrapper. And again, we're gonna do flex box, center, center. And then for the spacing, or sorry, for the size, 100 VW, 100 VH. Then inside of there, we're going to go ahead and drag in a slider. And this slider right here, we're gonna call it um, the slider. And this one is going to have 100 VH. So this is backwards, 100 VW. And the reason why it's backwards is because this is the thing we're going to rotate. And so we're gonna rotate down here on the Z axis, negative or positive 90 degrees. And as you notice, we have a top and bottom arrow now and let's go ahead and remove our default color of DDD on the background right here. After that, let's go ahead and go into our slide. So this slide right here, we're going to drag in a div block and we're gonna call this slider content wrapper. With this slider content wrapper, we're also going to do a flex center center. And we're gonna set the width and height to 100% of its parent. All right, and now we get to go ahead and put our content. So our content we need to put in as another div block inside. And we're gonna call this slider content one. And we'll just go ahead and set a min width. So this is the, the trick that I learned from ACUT. Slider min width, 100, was it VW? Yeah, 100 VW and the height, 100 VH and we're going to take the rotate and rotate it back negative 90 degrees and there we go and now we can put anything we want in here uh, just to make it fast we're just going to put an image right there set it to cover and again you can put anything inside of here you want even extra content for example let me just put in a text that says slide one, so whatever you want. I'm gonna copy and paste this into slide two. And then for slider content right here, there we go. So slider content one, I'm just going to duplicate this and call it content two. Let's double click, change the slide two real quick. Back on slider content two, we can easily just change the background image to be something different. And we can also change the type to be white. And look at that. Slide one, slide two, and just rinse and repeat for any other slide. It's that easy. <laughs> and cut. Thank you, Acut, for teaching me. Oh man, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was fun. <clears throat> what did Jake say? Oh, okay, cool, he's just reiterating. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to use interaction for that. Interesting. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is a fast way to do it. Um, let's see here. Cool. I think we can take this next hour to answer questions now. Since we got the, the topic done. I mean, I learned something today. 
Wow. Yeah, I learned a lot right there. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, if you want me to answer any questions, you want me to review any site that you're uh, working on, any project you're working on, uh, now is the time. Yes, Jake, we'll fix it in post. Uh, yeah, so yeah, let me know what's on your mind. Pablo, wouldn't just scrolling have the same effect? Yeah. Yeah, but like, say you want a vertical slider that's like inside of a hero row. You know? You can do that. Um, it, it doesn't have to take up the whole screen. But it's like, there's like people who like this kind of thing. I was like, okay, cool. Um... Is this, like, the easiest replacement for fullpage.js? Because now that I'm thinking about it, like, check this out. If I click on this, it's doing the same thing as fullpage.js. This whole time, you don't even need... Oh, wait, hold on. So if I just copy and paste this... So now I have six slides, and I have a nav on the left... Oh, we figured out how to do no code replacement for full page.js. This needs to be on the YouTube title. This needs to be on the description. Full credit goes to ACUT. So if you don't know what full page.js is, it's an old, old, old thing um, that this wonderful gentleman created a long time ago. And it was all the rage when Apple started to use it. And so this, like, like this, scrolling up and down. Um, that's basically what we did, but without the scroll. So, how can we control this with scroll? How can we control it? The, there needs to be custom code to control this with scroll. Okay, so if anyone can figure this out, you win. Because this full page JS, you have to add an extra JavaScript package to, or JavaScript, yeah, packages to your Webflow site, which takes uh, a little bit longer to load because you're adding more JavaScript. But if you can find some way to like there, there has to be a way like on mouse wheel down on mouse wheel down tap this button on mouse wheel up tap this button there has to be mohammed has the solution ooh ooh, ooh. there ha <laughs> there has to be someone someone find it someone find it Like, if you find it, like, oh, my God, you're amazing. Because, um, again, you need less code. And less code means more fun and less loading time. And, and there you go. So I did not expect this from the stream. And that's why I like streaming, because it's all live. It's all real. And we can all learn together. Mohammed, if you use divs inside of a wrapper... Set overflow hidden. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but um, I, I see where you're going with this. But, like, the, the cool thing about this slide, this vertical slider, is that we can go through each page like this. I feel like, ah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. There has to be a way. Hold on. Let me let me see. There has to be a way. jQuery um mouse uh scroll down. Okay, so there is a jQuery thing where on scroll so how do I know if it's scrolling up or down? Scroll.
scroll happened. Yeah. Uh, scroll down? Nope. Scroll. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know. Like, is there like on scroll down? Because Webflow has it where in the page trigger, there's page scrolled, right? So when scrolled up, when scroll down. So I know there's in jQuery, there's mouse down and mouse up. So you can listen for the mouse click. Well, I mean, not listen, but the, the computer is waiting for the mouse to be clicked down. And so you can make something happen on down and you can make something else happen when the person lets go of the mouse. So that's mouse up. Hmm. There has to be a way. There has to be a way. Now this is me just riffing. And again, if while I'm just trying to figure this out, put in your questions. It doesn't have to be about this topic. Put in your links or or DM me your link if you want me to review your site. And oh, and also, if you have a stream topic that you want me to do in the future, uh, there's a forum, pxlgk.com slash ideas. Submit your idea. But, um, oh, ooh, we got code in the chat room. Wheel, event delta y. I've seen that before. Let me see here. Okay, so this low code, low code stuff. All right, so Himanshu, thank you for the code. All right, so you put in some code script, script. Whoa, it's all one line. Okay, we fix it. Um, okay, so let's make it a little bit easier for people to read. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Where is it? Adding spaces so people can read it easier. Okay, so the window, meaning the browser window, there's an event listener. It's the wheel, mouse wheel. Um, when the mouse wheel event is delta Y, meaning scrolling up, or delta Y is greater than zero, no, less than zero. Yeah, less than zero, because you're going negative, then that means you're scrolling up. If it's greater than zero, meaning you're adding value to the thing, then scrolling down. So, knowing this, uh, what I want to do is trigger a tap on up or down. So I'm going to call this, and I don't think this is going to work because Webflow uh, is kind of... Uh, I don't know how to code or, or affect Webflow interactions or code or whatever inside of Webflow. So we'll see. We're going to call this up arrow. Or let's just say go up. We're going to give this an ID of go up and then this an ID of go down. All right. Let's see if this works. So what I want to do is say... Uh, go up using the ID of go up trigger. Is it tap or click? I think it's click. So I'm telling the computer, Hey, click that for me. Okay. I doubt this will work, 
But here's what I mean by trigger. Yeah, see? Trigger, click. Okay. That's what I want. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, blast off. We're adding Akut and Hamanshu into the credits, into the YouTube description. And we're going to, and Jake, you need to like paste their name all over the, oh my God. We did it. You don't need full page .js. You just need the slider and the small piece of code. Yo, we did it. Oh, amazing. Oh my God. And then you can do more with it. Oh, with Webflow, you can do some more. You can do the crossfade instead. You can set the duration. You can, oh my God. Crossfade. Oh, what? Ah. You, oh my God, we did it. Change the easing of the slider. Sure, let's change the easing. What do you want? You want in out back? Sure, I don't know what that does, but let's go have fun. Oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> we did it. Oh man. I I I did not expect this much from a stream. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Um Wow. See, these are these are the moments. These are the moments that make me say, this is why I stream.